Pasco Sheriff's Office is putting out a warning tonight about a rash of phone scams that have cost people tens of thousands of dollars. Reporter Eric Waxler is taking action for you with the one thing you should always check to keep a stranger from stealing your money. Donna Smith got a frightening phone call. Someone claiming to be a lieutenant from the Pasco Sheriff's Office told her she had an outstanding warrant for missing jury duty. The last thing I wanted was think I'm going to be arrested. They said she had to pay up to avoid going to jail, so she followed their instructions. Everything sounded so official. Bought a prepaid debit card and gave them the number. I was upset, got caught up in the moment. Donna is out more than 300 bucks, but she's not alone. The sheriff's office says 12 people have reported similar calls, some losing thousands. There are also dozens more victimized by other phone and internet scams. The money that you send is gone. The sheriff's office is not going to be able to get it back for you. Federal agencies are not going to be able to get it back for you. That's because the thieves are calling from untraceable numbers and are likely out of the country. This is what it sounds like when you call one of the bogus cops back. <laughs> We've talked to the gentlemen and the ladies on the other side of that phone number. They know, they're, they know that they're scam artists. Uh, we've informed them that we know that they're scam artists, but they know that we're so limited in uh, how far our hand reaches to, to catch them that they laugh at us on the phone. I pray and hope that people will really pay attention to when they get these phone calls. And the minute they ask about money, you should hang up. To verify the person calling is legit, don't just call the same number back. Look up the information so you know it's real. Donna now knows not to trust anyone that calls, asking for money or personal information. Never, ever again. Never. In Pasco County, Eric Waxler, ABC Action News.